Hey guys, what's up? This is the Blender Bro, and I'm here to talk about the Blender Cloud, Project Gooseberry, and why they are so important, and why you should support them. So first off, if you don't know what Project Gooseberry is, well, Project Gooseberry is Blender's next open movie animation feature film. And if you go to the, the movie's website, gooseberry.blender.org, and if you go to this exact address, you'll find that there's a Support Us Now button. And also, if you go to the blender.org homepage, Right here, if we just refresh it here real quick, if you go to the blender.org homepage, you'll find um, that at the first thing you normally see is the Gooseberry Project. And you'll see a link here saying, making the world's first open production feature animation movie. And also, if you get any version of Blender prior to Blender 2.7, which in this case, at this time of this recording, is Blender 2.7a, which is the current release at the time of this recording, you'll find that there's a link down here saying, Support an Open Animation Movie. And if you click either of those, you would, norm you would come to this page right here. And you also find a button that says support the Gooseberry Project. And if you and if you click that and if and if you click that, if you go to this exact page, cloud.blender.org register, you can either log in, register, or recover. So if you're new to this, you normally come to register right here. And if you click on register, this is what you're gonna see. Ladies and gentlemen, the Blender Cloud. So what the Blender Cloud is is just basically an um a store. It's basically a store. It's sort of like any cloud, any any cloud, like any storage cloud. And basically, what you get is it's one of the ways to fund the uh, Project Gooseberry. It's one of the ways to fund Project Gooseberry. And basically, what it is now is basically it allows you to um basically get all the assets from all the Blender Foundation's training DVDs and open movies. So for example, if you uh and so, for example, if you want to uh, open up a training video, like for example, Track Batch Blend, normally the first thing that you would come to is is basically what you got right here is uh, the first the opening video right here, which in this case is the trailer for Track Batch Blend, and normally you could play that, but apparently it's not it's not found yet. But normally, if you come to this page, um, if you click on videos, you'll see right here. As soon as it loads, you you you'll find all the videos that are actually on the DVD. And if you click one of those, say for example, let's do four point tracking, you can actually play the videos right here. So yeah, that's actually pretty cool. You can play all those videos right here. So for example, if you if you don't know what tracking is and want to do a tracking intro, well, it's currently not found yet. <laughs> Sorry about my internet connection, but not only can you view those files on the cloud, but you can also download them from the cloud. So you can download them. Um, so currently, you can download them as MP4 files, but for all I'm concerned, you can. I'm not sure. You could probably download them as movie files. I don't know. You just all you need to do is just click the download button, and for some reason, it's playing. So, and also, if you want to download this, all I have to do, you just right-click here and click Save as Video. Now, I'm not going to down. Now, I'm not going to download this because I already. Um, I'm not going to download this right now because um, I don't want to waste your time. So, actually, I will download this here shortly, to be honest. So, if we go back to the Blender Cloud, uh, um, also, um, if you go back here, you can, not only can you download the videos that are on the DVD, but you can also download all the assets. So, for example, you can get all the blend, uh, blend files that were used on the DVD. So, for example, you, if you want to do um, object tracking, and also, if there's some additional stuff, like uh, footage, in this case, for Track Match Blend, you can actually download some of the extra stuff that was on the DVD. So, for example, you can download the footage used in camera tracking and one-point tracking. And if you want to download these, you can uh, click this download button right here. And right now, and if you do that, you'll download them as a zip folder, which you can then extract, and you'll get the footage. So, yeah, that's another. That's a pretty cool thing. So, if you uh, want to open up a training DVD, say for example, Track Met, uh, I mean Blender Inside Out. Whoops. What you get, of course, is the opening video right here um and also right here if in the videos right here if you click videos you can of course um go through the videos one at a time so if you want to do a quick interface tour through blender's interface you can play that and jonathan williamson will show you um also viewport navigation selection tools search um uh 
Um, there's also uh, object mode versus edit mode. You can uh, learn that as well. And of course, if you want to download these, the download button's always right here. And of course, same as um, uh, Tears of Steel, you can also download the assets that were used on the DVD. So for example, you can uh, download the sports car as a as you download the blend file for the sports car, uh, the sports car render, the human head, uh, sample rig, etc., etc. So yeah, that's actually pretty cool. But also, not only can you also get uh, get access to the training videos, you can also get access to the open movies. So for example, if you wanna, if you go to here to Tears of Steel, um, I'm thinking this is the movie itself. But also, you can also go to videos and actually download um, all the videos that was used on the DVD. So, for example, you can actually download the full movie itself. You can also download the breakdowns, quad splits, studio screen bab, and etc., etc. And, of course, you can also download all the assets right here. So, you can download all the footage, production files, quad bot, script, etc., etc. And also, for extras, you can also... Um, you can also download some extra, some things extra. So in this case, you can download the original 4K uh, e image sequences that was used in Tears of Steel. You can also download some of the tutorials. You can also download weekly selections, etc., etc. So that's another pretty cool thing. Just go to an open movie, like Sintel in this case. Uh, here you'll find the movie itself, I think. And in videos, you can uh, download, um, download like say uh the <clears throat> the movie itself you can download the full movie there if you just uh, click download and of course if you want to download the assets for Sintel you can of course click here and you can download all the assets so if you come right here to the assets page you can actually download all the assets that was used in in Sintel so for example you can download uh like the uh, dragon baby .blend file the production files the script the Sintel file uh etc etc and also if you go to the open movie section you'll find that there's project goose bear right here even though it's not out yet but what you can do here if you go to here there's of course the teaser trailer for it but if you go over here you can also download all the files that are basically are basically used in the movie. So you can basically download all these files and take a look at them and and so you can actually take a sneak peek of what's going to be in the movie and you can decide if they are in the movie or not. So for example, currently at this time we have a uh, caterpillar, dragon, wolf, those are the old ones and currently we have a new one right here which is rabbit. You'll probably have even more in the future, but say for example if you want to go to rabbit, you can download um, the, uh, zip file, which is all the blend files, textures, and audio file from the rabbit shot in the teaser trailer for Project Gooseberry. So that's actually pretty cool. So, yeah, currently that's what you can do in the Blender Kernel right now. And, yeah, and also down here, you'll find that there's a campaign status right here, and it tells you how many days the campaign is left. Um, so currently we have 16 days left, and, um, where is it? And it's also shown on the uh, uh, Blender.org website, the current homepage. So it says uh, 16 days left. Now, they um, this campaign was actually extended because um, according to this blog post right here, according to this blog post, you can actually you can actually see that there was a campaign extension uh, prior on which is posted uh, at the fourth of um on the at the 14th of April in 2000. Uh, 4th of April, and they're saying if you reach th if we reach 3,000 supporters by Saturday, we can extend the campaign, and this is what and they actually made it. So you see, it's 3,000 supporters in, so they extended the campaign, and this also tells you about uh, what they are hoping to get. So the minimal supporter target 5,000 starting funding, which is um 640 uh, 40 k dollars or 500 k euros or um. Um, of, and of course you can find if, um, and it also says what they do if they, um, make this goal. They can say, they say right here in this post, so you go to full speed with preparing the feature film, and fill the Blender cloud, and with great production material, script development, concept art story, team videos, etc., etc. So, yeah, if, if they didn't reach 3,000 supporters, pretty much, uh, Project Gooseberry would have been a failure. So, by this blog post, you can see, um, to, uh, it's really, really important to, 
um that you that you um support um Project Gooseberry, especially the Tan Rosendale, because this is pretty much the big this is pretty much the biggest thing they have ever worked on. So it says here that uh, they are going for five thousand supporters, and currently at the time of this recording, they have three thousand one hundred and twenty supporters. And if you want to support them, all you have to do is just um back at a uh, uh, cloud.blender.org dot gooseberry um you can actually choose whether you want to um pledge a do uh make a donation to right here so you can get early access to watch download the film but um what i recommend uh, i think which is where i which is where i which is what i actually had myself is you can actually get mention is this offer right here so here you can actually get a mention into the credit scroll um you can include uh, a 25 dot $60 discount on ordering a hard copy, hard copy on the late film in late 2015. And there's also some other credits right here, or or in also a, a custom amount. And there's more information down here about the uh, film itself. So, yeah, just choose one of these. I highly recommend you choose this one so you can actually get your name mentioned in the credits and you can get a discount for getting ordering a hard copy of the film. So... Yeah, um, as you can see, it's to me. Uh, to me, it's very important that you uh, support uh, 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 Project Gooseberry and join the Blender Cloud because this is not an easy project. I will admit that this is not easy. But so because currently they were going for a ten thousand supporters, and to me that seems pretty pretty difficult to get a thousand supporters, especially if it's a slow process to get all of them. So. So, um, it's very important that you support the Blender Cloud. So, if you want Project Gooseberry, it's very important that you support, uh, join the Blender Cloud and support Project Gooseberry. Because if you support, join the Blender Cloud and support Project Gooseberry, you decide, uh, if they should get into the film or not. Oh, and also, there's more, actually. I forgot to mention that. But also, in this blog post, uh... In the frequently asked questions on the Project Gooseberry website, you'll find that uh, you'll find that the you'll find some information, and also on the Blender Cloud. If you join the Blender Cloud in the future, right here, you'll in the future right here. There's some more uh, info up here, but in the future, you get um, you can you can actually you can actually have the Blender Cloud be a storage component in the cloud, so you can actually store all your Blender fi uh, blend files and some other files that you use for Blender. And also, you can also create your own project. And it even says, even rendering serv services. I have no idea that if that's possible, rendering in the cloud. Huh. Uh, if, uh, not sure if that makes sense, but, yeah. So, yeah, that's, um, so that's what you could expect in the future of the cloud. And, yeah, so that's pretty much, uh, my, uh, my, um, my um introduction to the that's pretty much my introduction to the blender cloud and i really hope you enjoyed this video and i especially hope that you um join the cloud to support project gooseberry because like i said it's very hard to produce so if if you want to uh join the cloud now just go to uh cloud.blender.org register and you can join and you can join the cloud there or if you just want to make a simple donation you could just make a simple donation here or choose a custom amount here but I really think you should join the Blender Cloud because, like I said, it's very important to Tom Rosadell and the makers of the Project Gooseberry film. So, if you want to join the Blender Cloud, just go to cloud.blender.org forward slash register, register for an account, and yeah. I, and yeah, so yeah, that's pretty much my uh, video about the Blender Cloud and Project Gooseberry. I am the Blender Bro, and as always, keep on blending, bro!